Well, 2021 is going to be remembered for a lot of things, but as you know, one of the bright spots here in Northwest Ohio was the work to create the largest mural in the country. It's on the ADM silos just east of I-75 along the Maumee River. And tonight, we learned the project reached another major milestone. First, the bad news. It's going to be at least summer 2022 before the Glass City River Wall is complete. There were so many things that we couldn't anticipate. Um, you know, had we been able to work as much as we wanted to work, we could have feasibly gotten it done. The original target was around the time of the Solheim Cup, but weather and supply chain issues got in the way. Now Casper says May or June is more realistic. Well, now to the good news. Part of the magic of this project is that every single time we've had a challenge, it's been answered somehow. We raised like almost $17,000 today. That's insane. Like that's unheard of. Did you hear that? 17,000 for that $50,000 Kickstarter campaign. They hit their target with three days to spare. And she says that money will provide funding for maintenance and the costs of painting into the new year. Sure, this is a project in our own backyard, but Casper says its impact is being felt elsewhere. When we had the CBS Sunday morning um, piece, we had a senator call us from New York, from Buffalo, and he's like, hey, I got to do this. You know, so this is catching fire. And listen to this. The team behind it is creating a blueprint for other cities and towns if they want to try their hand at it. Another part to this movement, a website that includes school lessons on the mural's meaning and on social justice. Is it a template for other communities? Absolutely. I mean, our whole purpose in this project was not only to elevate our community, but to recognize that Toledo does so many things well that we can rep that other communities can replicate. Casper says plans are still in the works to have sustainable lighting on it, creation of an observation area, and more paint on the other side, which she says would make it possibly the biggest mural in the world. Now, Casper joined us for an interview during our 530 show tonight. She says right after that interview, they got another $300 in donations. She says upon completion, Urban Site, the nonprofit behind the mural, is hoping to have a big celebration.